Not bad, not bad, Alabama. That cross on there is actually a crimson cross of St. Andrew, a Christian apostle. The Alabama flag is based on the Spanish cross of Burgundy, based on the Dukes of Burgundy, which ruled in France in the 1500s. They need this on their flag. Oh, the Big Dipper, or is that the Little Dipper? Alaska's flag was actually voted as the fourth best flag by flag experts. If you didn't know, a 13-year-old native boy designed the Alaska flag in 1927. Prior to that, for about 60 years, the territory of Alaska flew the American flag. This state has eight stars, which is quite a few, but we'll probably see way more than that. The Arizona flag was actually voted as the fifth best flag by flag experts. While the Alaska flag has eight stars, Arizona's only has one star, so it's not as cool. That copper colored star actually represents the copper industry in Arizona. This flag needs a wall on it, based on everything that's going on down there near the border. Look at all those stars! There's 29 of them! This will be hard to beat, folks. The three stars under the state name are symbolized by the three nations under which Arkansas belonged, France, Spain, and the USA. California's flag is pretty cool, I guess. It only has one star on it. Actually, it used to look like this, but they changed it sometime in the 1800s. And that grass should actually probably be on fire. Actually, that's the wrong bear too, to be honest. This is a pretty cool flag, I suppose. The blue is meant to represent the skies, the gold strands for the abundant sunshine the state enjoys, the white represents the snow-capped mountains, and the red represents the ruddy earth. The Colorado flag ranked as the 16th best by flag experts. Okay, I didn't know there were flag experts. There's flag experts? Yeah, there's a flag expert and they rank stuff. And all other they are. Okay, I did not know that. What is this snobby flag all about? And no stars even? Those words are actually Latin for he who transplanted still sustains. I guess that's why they have grapevines on it. Do people in Connecticut drink wine or? The vines actually represent strong and lasting relationships. Aw, oh, that's cute, Mappy. Thanks for the clarification. You and I are best friends. Oh, geez. Who are these people? A farmer and a fighter? There's more people on the Delaware flag than there are in Delaware. Actually, Delaware was the first state, hence the date at the bottom. On the stripes are a sheaf of wheat, an ear of corn, and an ox standing on grass, all representing Delaware's agriculture. No stars, no likey. Okay, who copied who? This looks like Florida jacked the Alabama flag we saw earlier. Actually, Alabama had it first, based on adoption dates. This flag needs a tan, and something more relevant on it. And again, no stars. So sad, so sad. There's some stars. Now that's what I call a real state flag. The 13 stars are symbolic of Georgia being one of the original 13 colonies. It says wisdom, justice, and moderation on it. This flag is a little controversial though. The old flag was even more controversial up until 2001 when they changed it. I'm sure we'll see more of this as we go through other southern state flags. This lady was a proud Georgia resident. Look at how she flies that thing. What is this, British flag? This is America, hombre. This thing looks like a Russian-British hybrid flag. Apparently, Hawaiian King Kamahamauea used to fly a British flag in Hawaii to appease British King George III. Then, during the War of 1812, Hawaii started flying the U.S. flag. In 1845, they combined both flags into this mess. Here's what the governor of Hawaii's flag looks like. At least this one has stars on it. Man, there's a lot going on in this flag. Idaho seal was adopted in 1863, and it was redrawn several times before it was finalized. You think? Looks like the whole damn state got to add something to it. The Latin part says, let it be perpetual. There's a justice in there and a minor. There's some trees, an elk, a moose, a bunch of food, some flowers, mountains, all of which you can find in Idaho. But where's the potatoes? I'll stick one right here. Hey, now this is a cool flag. A big old mean eagle looking like he's gonna mess somebody up. It's got Lake Michigan in the background and a cool sunset. And 13 stars too. The dates on this flag represent the year Illinois became a state and the year in which the Great Seal of Illinois was redesigned by Illinois resident Sharon Tyndale. This video brought to you by Mike's Barbecue. On Route 32 in Terre Haute. Come on down, we got some great food. That's Mike's Barbecue. Holy stars, Batman. 19 stars, fella. Those 19 stars represent Indiana being the 19th state to join the Union. The gold torch represents liberty and enlightenment. Did you know they copied the Indiana flag for Gotham City's flag in Batman? That's a really good find, Mappy. 
If you're Batman, does that make me Robin? Does anybody else think this flag reminds them of Walmart? Or is it just me? Let us know in the comments below. Moving on, we come to the state flag of Iowa. Hey, this just looks like the French flag with an eagle on it and some duct tape. Anyways, the flag reads, our liberties we prize and our rights we will maintain. The eagle part's cool, but no stars for this sucker. 34 stars? What the? This flag was actually voted as the third worst by flag experts? Why in the hell would they do that? How do you become a flag expert anyway? It's got the Rockies in the background. The river and steamboat signify commerce. There's a wagon in there because people cut across Kansas to head west. There's Indians hunting bison, that's cool. The Latin phrase at the top means, to the stars through difficulties. And it even has a flower on top. This, dear Americans, is a true blue flag. The guy on the left is supposedly Daniel Boone, who helped explore Kentucky. And the man on the right is Henry Clay, Kentucky's most famous statesman. Supposedly. Hey, this is interesting. A mama pelican feeding her little pelican babies? Does the mama bird get money for every baby bird? JK, Louisiana, don't send me any hate comments. I'll just delete them. What the hell's going on here? Who's the guy in the pirate outfit? Apparently Maine is trying to play up their connection to the ocean here in this design. By the way, dirigo means I lead in Latin. You lead what? The main flag used to look like this. I think the old one's way better, Maine. During the Civil War, the Maine Volunteer Infantry Regiment used this flag. Now that's a flag. Okay, so this flag bugs me. It was voted as the second best flag by those flag experts, but I think it's lame. I know, people in Maryland are gonna hate me now. Wherever you go in Maryland, you see their flag, whether it's on university seals or on sports logos. The flag features a 17th century heraldic banner with the colors and shield from the coat of arms of Sir George Calvert, the first Lord Baltimore, for what it's worth. Interesting. The arm and sword represents Miles Standish, a British military officer hired by the Pilgrims to protect them on their trip to America on the Mayflower. The Latin phrase says, by the sword we seek peace, but peace only under liberty. That's pretty badass. And hey, they figured out a way to sneak a star into it too. Is that Bigfoot? Is Michigan the Bigfoot state? Tuber in the middle means I will defend. The other part on the white ribbon says, if you seek pleasant peninsula, look about you. I'm digging the eagle and the elk and the moose. And as any true Michigan hunter can attest, the racks on big game in Michigan are pretty teeny, just like on their flag. Okay, this flag sucks. Sorry, I love me some Minnesota peeps, but God, this is awful. Those experts even agree with me. Minnesota's flag was actually voted as the fourth worst of all. There's a guy plowing and the Indian guy's laughing because he's not working hard. I don't know what's going on here. The French phrase, le tu le le le, means the star of the north. But Minnesota's flag does have 19 stars on it, which will help it tremendously in our final rankings at the end. This flag still pisses off a lot of people. Here, let's make it more PC. A while back, people tried to pick a new, less controversial flag for Mississippi, and this was the winning design. It's actually pretty dope, but old crabby white men wanted to keep the Confederate part on it, and Mississippi never changed our flag. In any event, 12 stars on this flag makes this one a good one. Wow, look at all those stars. The 24 stars on the outside and inside symbolize Missouri being the 24th state. If you're counting at home, that's 48 stars. What's with the bears though? Are there angry bears in Missouri? Apparently there are still about 150 black bears in the state, but these are brown bears, so... Ora y plata. Even I remember from Spanish class, that means silver and gold. Those are symbols of Montana's mining and farming history. Our flag expert friend said this was the third worst in America, primarily because the shade of blue Montana picked is the same blue on all the other flags. I guess originality counts? It looks pretty there though. But this one was their least favorite flag of all. Apparently Nebraska is playing up on its long storied history of blacksmithing, river boating, and train riding. Battle born. Were there any battles in Nevada? Apparently, this is interesting, Nevada became a state during the Civil War, hence battle born. West Virginia was also battle born during the Civil War. Anyways, I kind of like the flag, it's simple, and it has a star. Those nine stars on the outside signify New Hampshire being the ninth state to join the Union. The boat on this flag is the frigate USS Raleigh, which had some memorable battles against the British in the Revolutionary War. Nice job, New Hampshire. What is this? Is that a beanie on her staff? 
This design features a shield with three plows, representative of New Jersey's agricultural tradition, hence the Garden State. The lady on the left is called Liberty, and the lady on the right is called Ceres. Both women are Roman goddesses of grain, a symbol of abundance. And that hat's not a beanie, it's a Liberty hat, whatever that means. No stars, no likes. All flag experts agree, this is the best flag of all. It's pretty cool looking, I suppose. The red sun symbol in the middle is from the Zia, an indigenous tribe with a reservation in New Mexico. The sun symbolizes the circle of life, the four directions, the four times a day, the four stages of life, and the four seasons. This is one of only four U.S. state flags not to contain the color blue. New York's flag looks like a ripoff of New Jersey's flag, but New Jersey had their design first, making this a bootleg version of New Jersey's flag. Hey, my home state flag. Simple, patriotic, a star, that's really all I have to say about that. This is pretty America. That fan shape is a symbol of the birth of a new nation, the United States. And 13 stars. Awesome. Bye, North Dakota. Oh, why did Ohio have to be all different? That triangle shape is actually called a burgee. It's used primarily on sailing ships. Ohio does have a very large border with Lake Erie. Wow, Oklahoma, you've got everything you need here to fight a vampire, crosses, a stake, and poison ivy? This flag features a traditional Osage Nation buffalo skin shield with seven eagle feathers on a sky blue field, according to Wikipedia. Also depicted are two symbols of peace, the plain style ceremonial pipe representing Native Americans and the olive branch representing European Americans, also according to Wikipedia. 34 stars, now that's a flag, son. Oregon is the only two-sided flag in our collection today. The front consists of the seal of Oregon with a Conestoga wagon, a boat, and some other stuff that probably means something to the people of Oregon. The back is a beaver. An interesting fact, Paraguay is the only country to have a two-sided flag, but they don't have beavers in Paraguay. This is pretty regal. I'd be proud to fly this flag above my house. The crest in the middle is adorned with symbols of Pennsylvania's strengths, a ship carrying state commerce, a clay red plow, which is a symbol of Pennsylvania's rich natural resources, and three golden sheaves of wheat representing fertile fields. You guys couldn't work a star in there somewhere? Wow, a white flag. Rhode Island is only the 24th whitest state in terms of race, by the way. The gold anchor symbolizes hope. And in case you didn't know that, they put the word hope underneath it to emphasize the fact. Again, 13 stars symbolizing the 13 original colonies. This looks like a cool flag to fly on your boat while cruising around Narragansett Bay. South Carolina is the Palmetto State, hence a palmetto tree prominently depicted. During the Revolutionary War, South Carolina troops wore hats with crescent symbols on the front, hence the crescent symbol on the front. The indigo blue is important since South Carolina troops wore indigo colored uniforms, and since the indigo crops have played such a prominent role in the industrial development of the state. This is just a mess. The South Dakota flag was voted as the sixth worst state flag, primarily because it has the state name twice on it for some reason. The gold triangles represent the sun's rays. The old one was way better, in my humble opinion. And I'm a total YouTube star, so my opinion matters greatly. Nice looking flag with three stars there, Tennessee. Those three stars represent the three grand divisions of the state, East Tennessee, Middle Tennessee, and West Tennessee. The blue circle around the stars represents the unity of the grand divisions of the state. The blue bar at the edge of the flag was just added to break up the crimson color, apparently. Their state flag is also featured on the Tennessee Titans logo, as well as on the Nashville Predators logo. People in Texas worship their state flag, and you can see why. This is so America. That single white star is why they call it the Lone Star Flag, and why they call Texas the Lone Star State. The star symbolizes Texans' solidarity in declaring independence from Mexico, and Texas's independence in general. It's highly popular among Texans, and it's treated with a great degree of reverence and esteem within Texas. And, I always knew the whole time, I swear, the actual designer of the flag is unknown. Fellow Americans, how can we not agree this is what a flag should look like? Let's take a second and appreciate this flag's perfection. This is America, except the stupid beehive in the middle. Hey, this looks like something Bob Ross would paint. I like it. 
The small pine branches signified the pine branches worn at the Battle of Plattsburgh near the end of the War of 1812. The pine tree in the middle of the coat of arms represents Vermont's forests. The cow and three sheaves of wheat represent the dairy and agriculture industries here. Here's Vermont's original flag, also spiffy, right? A lot of other people Googled whether that's a man or a woman on the Virginia flag, and apparently it's a woman. There's a whole lot of history about this, you should Google it yourself, but to some, that's Virtus, the Roman goddess of bravery and strength. Virginia's mostly backwoods, so I think we can fix their flag. Much better. Wow, Washington on Washington. I do love that green color. This is the only US flag with a field of green, as well as the only flag with an image of an American president. Washington is also mostly backwoods. Let's fix their flag too. The pattern of West Virginia's flag makes it very handsome. The white of the field symbolizes purity, while the blue border represents the Union. Two men, a farmer and a miner, stand on either side of the boulder and represent agriculture and industry. They sure crammed a lot of symbolism into this state flag. And Wisconsin's is only one of two state flags to have a beaver on it. The plow represents agriculture, a pick and shovel represent mining, an arm and hammer represent manufacturing, an anchor represents navigation. Okay, we made it all the way. If you're still with us, congrats for watching. This is our last flag, Wyoming's state flag. The red symbolizes Native Americans in the blood of pioneers who gave their lives. The white is a symbol of purity and uprightness. The blue is the color of the skies and distant mountains. And of course, the bison represents the bison that live in Wyoming. The Wyoming public was invited to come up with the state's flag design in 1916. The winner got 20 bucks, equivalent to $466.06 in today's money. Okay, so now that we've gone through all the states, learned a little bit along the way, and had some fun, it's time to vote. After going through the entire list, these are our top five U.S. state flags based on a number of very important criteria. Enjoy our winning state's state anthem. That's it. If you live in one of the states with the most stars on their flag, you're lucky. And if you live in a state with a lame state flag, well, then start writing letters. Maybe you can make some change one day yourself. The end. Hey guys, if you learned something new or you just like this video, make sure to like it. And if you really like this video, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you get all of our videos about what it's like to live in different places in America. Peace.